Hi, this is Celeste from the Celestial Report, and this is another Nano Moment, and we're going to share the screen. Oops, you don't want to see that. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I just deleted it. <laughs> I think we're going to transition over to uh, wastewater. It's not the title because I just accidentally deleted it. It's been one of those days. What can I say, you guys? Uh, thank you for allowing me to be a human. Um, so we are going to talk about transitioning wastewater treatment plants towards the circular economy and energy sustainability. This comes to us from the journal ACS, American Chemical Society, Omega. And there are aging, there is aging infrastructure. We all know that with the potholes in our road, at least if you live in Montana, increasing environmental regulations, which are going to be going exponential and receiving water environment issues uh, that stem the need for advanced uh, wastewater treatment processes around the world. Advanced wastewater treatment systems uh, treat wastewater beyond the organic carbon removal and aim to remove the nutrients to recover those valuable products. And remember, this is a scheme called value added, where they take out the important things like carbon, nitrogen, and phosphorus, and they're going to sell it back to you at a higher price. Um, and they say that this is necessary for environmental protection. Um, it is an energy, uh, chemical, and cost-intensive process. And what are some of the ways that they're going to be doing this? Um, they are going to uh, recycle uh, wastewater. The problem with that is now they're liquefying human beings and animals and putting it into both the water supply and the wastewater. And with that comes a plethora of different pathogens and different um, drugs, uh, cancer drugs, all kinds of drugs. And it gets uh, in this circular economy, it just keeps going round and round and round. And then to top it off, they're going to be putting hydrogel I just found that out yesterday as I perused the uh, journals in an effort to take out the colloidal plastics that are in our water supply. So they're going to put the hydrogel in there supposedly as a giant sponge filter um, system. But the problem is, is the hydrogel is going to get in your body and it is a track and tracing system and it does connect to the quantum computer. It does um, surveillance your entire uh, body, your entire life, uh, what you consume, what you breathe, are you stressed, what supplements are you taking, are you exercising? And it reports back to your physician, public health, the government, life insurance, health insurance, the whole 10 yards. So anyway, I just want you to know that this is coming. I'm not sure if I'll go down and see if they had more than the abstract. They do. So you can uh, go down and it will talk about the new processes. Let's see if there's any more graphics in here. Uh, they are trying to reduce our consumption of water. And this is supposedly a way to recycle in this circular economy. And quite frankly, if they can or sell Beijing, China, a quart jar, a mason quart jar of air for $950, like 15 years ago, I cannot even imagine what we are going to be charge for water in the days ahead. So anyway, this is Celeste with your nano moment, and I will see you the next time.